So there's actually a big controversial around the chat GPT-6, all new that has been announced by Sam Altman right now. So OpenAI has officially confirmed that Chap GPT-6 is not going to ship in 2025. The company have publicly stated that the new generation Chat GPT-6 will represent a significant leap considered to Chat GPT-5. So recently we got this tweet from Sam Altman. So in the tweet, there is clearly mentioned that we made ChatGPT pretty restrictive to make sure we were being careful with mental health issues. We realized this made it less useful, enjoyable to many users who don't have any mental issues and mental problems. But given the seriousness of the issue, we want to get this ready. So Sam Altman want to share that. Recently explained that ChatGPT was made quite restrictive in the beginning to ensure user safety, especially around mental health issues. The goal was to avoid any harm while the team worked on understanding how people interact with the AI. However, this feels ChatGPT less fun and neutral to them. So in the next few uh, weeks, a new version of ChatGPT will be released. So that feels more human-like and expressive, similar to how ChatGPT 4.0 behave, but even better. User will have the option to choose a personality that respond how neutrally user emojis or even act like a friendly opinion. Then in December, OpenAI will fully introduce age gathering features. This means verified adults will have access to more mature content under a treat adult like adult. Essentially, ChatGPT will soon become more open, customizable and personal while still keeping safety in check. So, but the real reason is the idea of treating adults like adults sounds like a good in theory because it gives grown up users more freedom and choose. It means OpenAI treat adults to decide what kind of content or experience they want instead of blocking everything uh, automatically. For example, verified adult might be allowed to access more mature topics or even deeper, more realistic conversation with ChatGPT. But on the other hand, it can also be risky if not managed properly. Even if the system uh, verify is there always a chance that younger users could fake their identity or that adult could misuse the freedom in unhealthy way. It also raises moral and ethical questions about what kind of adult content should even be allowed in an AI tool. So in short, it's good if handed prop responsibly, given adult more control and freedom, but it could be bad or unsafe if the open AI doesn't put strong limitation, transparency and age verification in the place. So simultaneously, we also got a tweet like, I am honestly done with this crap. Shame on you, Sam Altman. Shame on Elon for any shame off any on anyone selling AI as a companion or friend. Erotic. This is seriously what we are using AI for. So the strong backlash come after Sam Altman mentioned mentions the treat adult like adult principle saying OpenAI would allow more adult oriented content for verified user. Even mentioning erotic that one word seen shockwave across social media. Many people starting questioning whether our AI a tool built to educate, create and innovate should we should we venturing in some personal or intimate territories. So one of the loudest was criticizing the decision was Nathan Covey, who publicly said shame on you, Altman and even Elon Musk. In words, selling AI as a companion or friend, his tweet represents a growing frustration amongst users who feel that AI companies are slowly shifting away from innovation and towards emotional manipulations and profit-driven companions. And this question is actually valid because why are you shifting from innovations to just intimate territories? So the media outlets pick up the story instantly. Some headlines frame the debate as a moral crisis in the tech world, suggesting that AI companies might be blurring the lines between human connections and artificial intimacy. Criticists argued that while AI companionship may seem harmless, it can encourage emotional independency on machine instead of real human relationships. Other one that introducing adult content into AI platforms, even with age verification, opened a door to ethical, psychological and social problems that tech companies may not be ready to handle. On the other side, supporter of the update say the outrage is. So they said that AI has already become a part of daily life, helping people with a right study and even cope with loneliness. 
for them adding a more personal emotional aware version of chat gpt isn't about replacing human it's about giving user choice as long as the system are responsible and secure they believe adults should have the right to describe how they interact with ai still the entire debate show one clear thing the future of ai isn't just about technology anymore it's about value responsibilities and how far society is willing to give in blending human emotion with ai artificial intelligence sam altman post may have been given a uh, user freedom but it also sparked one of the most important ethical decision in the today's world so should ai be friend a tool or something more so all right that's a wrap of everything happening in ai and tech world right now from the latest chat gpt6 updates a stirring public debates to the bold claim of croak aiming from agi even deep mind breakthrough in cancer research one thing clear ai is not just challenging the game it's rewriting the rule entirely but on the social media react controversy spread and opinion clash it's up to us to separate hype from reality so don't forget to hit subscribe turn on the notification and join the conversation because in world moving the this fast we don't want to miss what next thanks for watching